<coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to be here uh, with you this evening. Uh, I'd like to tell you that we had uh, serious and business-like discussions today. <laughs> <laughs> we have, uh, in this in the settlement document, uh, attempted to uh, capture uh, agreement on how the nuclear issue would be resolved. And that document uh, does this by providing for uh, the two sides to take a series of steps over a period of months and years. Um, the steps are, in a sense, interlocking. Um, they are one related to the other. Uh, in this sense, uh, the document uh, is, is not accurately described as one that is based on trust, but as I have said before, uh, it is one that hopefully will build trust. Uh, the steps uh, by one side can follow the steps by others. Um, the implementation can be verified in most uh, of the elements of the document the provisions, the verification would be accomplished by the International Atomic Energy Agency. The current program we have been concerned about, and this concern has been shared with you over the weeks in which uh, we have met after some of these sessions, involve the disposition of the spent nuclear fuel that is in the pond uh, at the reactor at Yongbyon. As you know, that fuel contains 25 or 30 kilograms of plutonium. And one of our objectives certainly was to make sure that that fuel was not reprocessed, that the plutonium was not separated. Under the provisions of the agreement, uh, the fuel will remain in the pond. The second objective uh, certainly was to make sure that not only uh, new plutonium was not separated, but that new plutonium was not produced. And we were therefore concerned that the five megawatt reactor was not restarted uh, and under the agreement, the five megawatt reactor will not be refueled or restarted. 